Um, good numbers to talk about, too. Saturday. It's June 29th, 2019. I'm Eric, talking at you as always from beautiful downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, where I really don't understand why there's so much division politically and philosophically in the world. When the key to, there's three basic keys to survival for every single human being on the planet. Find food. Number two, eat food. And three, come up with funny names for our penises. That's all you need. That's all anybody needs. Why are we why are we going to war over shit when we all just do the same thing and that's all we need to live? Find food, eat food, laugh at our penises. That's all that's the fundamentals to human survival. That's all that's how that's what's gotten us this far. That's what will get us through the future. Uh hi around the world, around the country, around uh the, the homeless shelter how's uh how is everybody doing welcome to what if we're right uh gord say hello hello very nice um if you are sick of trying to decide where to listen to eric and gord starting next week you can go on over to the google play store and download the eric and gord what if our app It's it's a very simple, uh, just embeddable player. You can download the app, and then you got all our episodes right there at your fingertips. Uh, no more, oh, I don't know, should I go to these sites he tells me to go to? Yeah, you should, but uh, if you don't, the Eric and Gord What If Our app. What If Our app. Perfect. And that's going to be followed soon, ideally in a perfect world, with my uh, my new game. My new 3D shooter game, uh, Eric and Gord, The Laser of Truth. <laughs> Eric and Gord, what if we're shooting? <laughs> where, where we have to storm the, uh, what if we're shooting? I like that even better. Um, yeah, it's, no, it's the Laser of Truth game, where we get the Laser of Truth and we have to go shoot politicians. Oh, oh, oh. oh. see, I think that's why like, like, uh, that Truth Ray Gun doesn't actually exist today, because it's... It ever got to the hands of a real citizen. They would be. And um, I, 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 I got so much I want to talk about tonight, so I just want to get into this real quick because I know you like it when I talk about our listeners and where they are and what they're doing. Um, yeah, but I've been reading a couple of articles, some really interesting articles, and I always I like to preach about the uh, 700 and, uh, what is it, 706,000 podcasts that exist. Yeah. Well, some numbers came are rolling in. Of that 706,000 podcasts that are allegedly in production, 280,000 only have posted an episode in the last year. I heard something that like three-quarters of the amount of podcasts that there are not existing. Now, if you look at February, March, and April of 2019, only 126,000 produced a new episode. That's 20%. So... We are uh, kicking ass and taking names while everyone else is dropping off like flies. I'm just getting bigger and better and spreading out. Um, you can also buy my app uh, at the iTunes store, by the way, Apple. Okay, the hatred's all one-sided here. Um, I don't know why. I, I, I'm going to re I'm gonna re uh, uh, apply again. I, they're still not playing us. I don't know. They're, 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 we're there. They just cut us off on September 11th, and that was it. That was the last... Uh, uh, episode they published so that's coming up on a year that's that's the whole show pretty much but so what i'm saying they're dropping people are dropping off like flies and we're just getting bigger and bigger and better and that's not because of me or gord that's because of you guys um world so thanks for being the world and listening to our show and my god gord you you, you wouldn't believe it. It's just insane. Uh, we're we're looking at um, 
just over 7,000 listeners. We're, we climbed we climbed right back over 6,000 on, on Anchor. No problem whatsoever. Uh, so 7,000. We were coming up on, we were 68. We, we didn't cross seven until just now. Uh, we're just over seven. But the thing that's getting me, that doesn't sound like a huge number. And you know what? I love every single one of you. But here's the thing that gets me. We are in Ireland, Sweden, the UK, France, Australia, Spain, Germany, Portugal, Thailand, Finland, Hong Kong, New Zealand, Norway, Brazil. We are literally around the world. That's so cool. And in some of those places, it's just an undereducational. That's right. Um, this the whole world. You guys are so cool. That just blows my mind. Uh, bring it a little closer to home. Uh, on Anchor.fm, our host platform, 69% of our listeners are in America. 69 and they are all over America. California, Ohio, Texas, Maryland, New Jersey, South Carolina. Uh, it's crazy. We got and and not it's not like one dude because in California, we're in Mountain View, Oxnard, San Jose, San Francisco, and uh, Menlo Park. I think that's LA, I don't remember. And then Columbus, Cincinnati, Jersey City, like we're 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 spread out, we're everywhere. That's so cool. And then, Hello, yeah, it's weird to think because it's not Canada. We're in, we're in, we're, we're in just where you'd think we'd be in Canada: Kelowna, Vancouver, North Vancouver, Brandon, Milton, Surrey, Burnaby, Maple Ridge, Nanaimo, and Seashell. Hi guys, Steve. I'm assuming it's either Steve or Cassie. It's one of you. Uh, and Vic- and Victoria. That's obviously Johnny Horgan. Hey buddy, you're listening. I know you're listening. An enemy has been slain. Um, it's got to be John Horgan. Who else? It's it's obviously the BC government. Who else would be listening in Victoria? I know no one on the island. Uh, I actually think you know one person. Oh, okay. We Char. Char. Oh, Char's on the island. He's on the island. Oh, I hope it's Char. Oh, Char. I forgot about Char for a minute. Oh, that's a. That is a, an image I want to keep in my mind for the rest of the night. Hi, Char. Um, it is. That's going to take care of itself right there. Uh, so, the world, what I'm saying is thank you. Uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, keep it keep it up because we're only getting better. Um, and we're going to have the app. We're going to have the game. We're going to have the social. I'm just going to take over the Internet. It's it's going gonna, it's gonna to just be the inner Eric and Gord from now on. It's not even going to be the Internet. Yeah. Uh, Jersey City. I just love that. I just I picture like these Jersey dudes just like bleh. Or it's because I make fun of Jersey Shore all the time and it's those fucks. Um, hey, if it is, great. Welcome. I'm, I'm just glad you're anybody's listening. What? Um... So that's very cool. So uh, yeah, the podcasts are failing. Um, eighty percent are failing, and we're just getting better and better. And Ed fucking uh, Rogan's spouting off about how great he is. He actually was talking about uh, Trudeau's podcast. Oh, really? I never listened to him. I've never actually listened to his podcast. It's probably great. I'm just a dick. Those shows are so terrible. Everyone has one of those. That's awesome. Um, 
He's good at the ranting. Um, he's claiming to have 200 million downloads. I think he's full of shit. But... Has been forever. And probably will be until we take over. He'll, and then he'll always be number two. Um, he's good at it. And he he's a pioneer. He No one was podcasting. People were laughing at him when he started this shit. And, and then Howard Stern switched you know like but but he didn't care he he when this when he started it wasn't a thing yeah. um and it's very cool he, he literally built that up from nothing. yeah he did and uh without him the rest of us would be eons behind where we are that's for sure yeah. he's a popular guy i never let i don't like mma i never have um i don't listen to i, I didn't want to hear him talk about it that's what i thought kind of the whole show would be so I never paid attention. Yeah, exactly, right? Um, and yeah, that's why I, they don't even do that anymore because it's all, it's all telegraphed. It's like he can sit there and tell you at the beginning of the match every move they're going to do until it's over. And so, well, then what the hell's the point of watching? It's no fun. Right. Oh my god, he actually fucking did something. Uh, the only time I ever watch it, it's like, okay, he's gonna do an arm bar and then he's gonna do this fucking thing. He's gonna do an arm bar and then he's gonna do this to break it. Then he's gonna spin around and do this to do that. And uh, yeah, that's that's exactly what happened there. Yeah, now they're gonna roll around for ten minutes and talk about it. I don't know, stupid. Or it's just an incredibly boring and predictable sport. And See, I don't like MMA as a as its own martial art. I I I wanted it to be more pure, uh, different martial arts against each other, not not MMA being a thing that you train for, but you never know what you're going to be up against. Yeah, of course. Well, yeah, anybody's going to be able to get a fuck up fight with you. You pull your sleeve out, wrap it around the guy's throat, and choke him out. Yeah, exactly. You know, so it, it created a tremendous unfair advantage when you don't put it out wearing a virtual weapon around your fucking neck. Almost. I always thought if I was going to get into a fight with Lloyd Strange, I'd be allowed to bring it on. My old favorite uh, Chaplin film is the one where Charlie Chaplin's boxing. And at the beginning of the match, he kisses his lucky horseshoe and then drops it into his left glove. Good stuff. I always, I, I never, I wasn't a big Chaplin fan, but I, I always found that one funny. Um, so Joe, we don't hate you. Uh, there's, you, you there's, you'll always have a job on what if we're right um, when we take over, buddy. Um, you can even do an MMA thing if you want. Um, or you can get us. Or you, hey, if I get my own radio station, you can be my electrician, Joe. 
if uh, he played an electrician on news radio, if people don't remember that. Um, and the radio station.